Okay, so we notice at the very beginning of this we have no internet on. This is VM1, and this is how it's got to be cured. First of all, shut it down. The same thing will apply to each of the VMs. In fact, while that's shutting down, I'm going to open each of the others. And do the same thing. This is VM2. We see it has no internet. Okay, and I'm going to just do the following with each one of these. So on this first one, I'll click uh, open so I can see the configurations. And we'll switch over to this light bulb, which um, I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent. But the problem is right here. Under NIC, which is the network card, we simply have to switch it from whatever it is. So if it's on E1000, switch it to Vertio. If it's on Vertio, switch it to E1000. We just have to change the network card that it's currently using. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to change the network card. Where are we? NIC, NIC, NIC. There we are. So this one's on Vertio, where the other one was on E1000. We're just going to change it, apply it, and close, and then fire them all up. All right, they're all turning blue. Let's give them a minute to boot up. All right, so this is VM1. Let's just take a look at... Uh, and we can see we do have internet on VM1 now. And VM2, I expect to see the same thing in all of them because this is a repeatable situation. I've run into it before. And predictable, yeah, VM2 is up and VM4 is also up. So that's it. So if uh, for some reason um, they go down in the way that they just have, that's going to be the solution. I don't know why that happens when uh, the ISP goes offline. But um, it's something that hasn't been figured out yet. And in the meantime, I know this works. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.